for the off-road and NASCAR driver, C. Walker Evans. Walker Evans was an American photographer best known for his work for the Farm Security Administration documenting the effects of the Great Depression. Much of Evans's work from the FSA period uses the large format, 8x 10-inch camera. He said that his goal as a photographer was to make pictures that are literate, authoritative, transcendent. Many of his works are in the permanent collections of museums and have been the subject of retrospectives at such institutions as the Metropolitan Museum of Art or George Eastman House. Biography, Early Life, Born in St. Louis, Missouri, to Jesse and Walker, Walker Evans come from an affluent family. His father was an advertising director. He spent his youth in Toledo, Chicago, and New York City. He attended the Loomis Institute and Mercersburg Academy before graduating from Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts, in 1922. He studied French literature for a year at Williams College, spending much of his time in the school's library, before dropping out. After spending a year in Paris in 1926, he returned to the United States to join the edgy literary and art crowd in New York City. John Cheever, Hart Crane, and Lincoln Kirstein were among his friends. He was a clerk for a stockbroker firm in Wall Street from 1927 to 1929. Evans took up photography in 1928 around the time he was living in Ossining, New York. His influences included Hugo Nyatget and August Sander. In 1930, he published three photographs in the poetry book The Bridge by Harp Crane. In 1931, he took photo series of Victorian houses in the Boston vicinity sponsored by Lincoln Kirstein. In 1933, he photographed in Cuba on assignment for the publisher of Carlton Beale's then forthcoming book, The Crime of Cuba, photographing the revolt against the dictator Gerardo Machado. In Cuba, Evans briefly knew Ernest Hemingway. Depression-era photography, in 1935. Evans spent two months at first on a fixed-term photographic campaign for the Resettlement Administration in West Virginia and Pennsylvania. From October on, he continued to do photographic work for the RA and later the Farm Security Administration, primarily in the southern United States. In the summer of 1936, while still working for the FSA, he and writer James Agee were sent by Fortune magazine on assignment to Hale County, Alabama for a story the magazine subsequently opted not to run. In 1941, Evans's photographs and Agee's text detailing the duo's stay with three white tenant families in southern Alabama during the Great Depression were published as the groundbreaking book Let Us Now Praise Famous Men. Its detailed account of three farming families paints a deeply moving portrait of rural poverty. Noting a similarity to the Beale's book, the critic Janet Malcolm, in her 1980 book Diana and Nikon, Essays on the Aesthetic of Photography, has pointed out the contradiction between a kind of anguished dissonance in Agee's prose and the quiet, magisterial beauty of Evans's photographs of sharecroppers. The three families headed by Budfields, Floyd Burroughs and Frank Tingle, lived in the Hale County town of Akron, Alabama, and the owners of the land on which the families worked told them that Evans and Agee were Soviet agents, although Ali May Burroughs, Floyd's wife, recalled during later interviews her discounting that information. Evans's photographs of the families made them icons of Depression-era misery and poverty. In September 2005, Fortune revisited Hale County and the descendants of the three families for its 75th anniversary issue. Charles Burroughs, who was four years old when Evans and Ag visited the family, was still angry at them for not even sending the family a copy of the book. The son of Floyd Burroughs was also reportedly angry because the family was cast in a light that they couldn't do any better, that they were doomed, ignorant. Evans continued to work for the FSA until 1938. That year, an exhibition, Walker Evans, American Photographs, was held at the Museum of Modern Art, New York. This was the first exhibition in this museum devoted to the work of a single photographer. The catalogue included an accompanying essay by Lincoln Kirstein, whom Evans had befriended in his early days in New York. In 1938, Evans also took his first photographs in the New York subway with a camera hidden in his coat. 
These would be collected in book form in 1966 under the title Many Are Called. In 1938 and 1939, Evans worked with and mentored Helen Levitt. Evans, like such other photographers as Henri Cartier-Bresson, rarely spent time in the dark room making prints from his own negatives. He only very loosely supervised the making of prints of most of his photographs, sometimes only attaching handwritten notes to negatives with instructions on some aspect of the printing procedure. Later work, Evans was a passionate reader and writer, and in 1945 became a staff writer at Time magazine. Shortly afterward he became an editor at Fortune magazine through 1965. That year, he became a professor of photography on the Faculty for Graphic Design at the Yale University School of Art. In one of his last photographic projects, Evans completed a black and white portfolio of Brown Brothers Harriman's offices and partners for publication in Partners in Banking, published in 1968 to celebrate the private bank's 150th anniversary. In 1973 and 1974, he also shot a long series with the then new Polaroid SX70 camera, after age and poor health had made it difficult for him to work with elaborate equipment. In 1971, the Museum of Modern Art staged a further exhibition of his work entitled Simply Walker Evans. Death and Legacy Evans died at his home in New Haven, Connecticut, in 1975. In 1994, the estate of Walker Evans handed over its holdings to New York City's The Metropolitan Museum of Art. The Metropolitan Museum of Art is the sole copyright holder for all works of art in all media by Walker Evans. The only exception is a group of approximately 1,000 negatives in collection of the Library of Congress which were produced for the Resettlement Administration slash Farms Security Administration. Evans's RA slash FSA works are in the public domain. In 2000, Evans was inducted into the St. Louis Walk of Fame, see also, photojournalism, sources, furniture store sign, Birmingham, Alabama, Walker Evans exhibition in the Argus Photokunst Art Gallery in Berlin. References Further reading, Crump, James. Walker Evans, Decade by Decade. Hatch Kantz. ISBN A978-3-7757. 2491-3A, Hamburg, Maria Morris. Jeff Rosenheim. Douglas Eklund. Mia Feynman. Walker Evans. Princeton University Press slash The Metropolitan Museum of Art. ISBN A0-691-11965-1 Leached, Michael. Y. Katie Tingle Psych Weggert. Ordent Leich Supposier and Unt Walker Evans Dara One Quarter Bernicht Grolt. Transcript Verlag, Bielefeld. ISBN A3 89942 436 0 Mello, James. Walker Evans. Basic Books. ISBN A978 0 465 09077 8 Rathbone, Belinda. Walker Evans, A Biography. Thomas Allen and Son Limited. ISBN A0-618-05672-6A, Rosenheim, Jeff. Douglas Eklund. Alexis Squitzenbach, ed. Unclassified, A Walker Evans Anthology. Maria Morris Hamburg. Scarlo slash The Metropolitan Museum of Art. ISBN A3 908247 21 7. Story, Isabel. Walker's Way, My Years with Walker Evans. Powerhouse Books. ISBN A978 1 57687 362 5. Wyzik, Clark. Belinda Rathbone. Walker Evans, The Lost Work. Arena Editions. ISBN A 1 892041 29 4. External links, article and photographs regarding Walker Evans' time spent in Ossining, NY. Biography of the artist Walker Evans from the J. Paul Getty Museum, Walker Evans at the Art Institute of Chicago, Luminous Lint Page, Todd Papa George on Walker Evans and Robert Frank, Many Are Called Book Review by Sarah Noakes A. Let us now praise famous men on Violet Editions.